Hey, looks like we are live now. I've just uh, gotten a new bit of kit for my streaming thing. I've now got a boom arm with a microphone uh, connected on the end and a shock mount and a little pop card, so I feel quite professional. Uh, hopefully the audio quality of this one's just that a uh, little bit better now that the uh, good microphone is actually facing um, directly up near my mouse, so you get a little bit less on the key presses and a little bit more uh, clarity on my talking. Anyway, um, so this video here, I wanted to get into it. There was a request on YouTube for uh, changing out the attack animations. Um, it's a fairly simple process, but there is actually one catch that people don't um, don't necessarily get, uh, and that's when you need to uh, allocate the timing for the attack um, uh, for the hitbox to actually appear. So let's get started in this. So if you have a look, I've just got the uh, regular um, in Vector Shooter. I've got the latest one. It is 1.3.2, and I'm running it on 2019.3 uh, Alpha. You can see, we can go through, we can attack, and I think what uh, the goal for today is is that we want to um, get a new attack animation for a weapon, um, and that's a melee weapon. So we're just going to stop that. We're going to go to the asset store and we're going to get ourselves a uh, an attack animation that we can replace it with. I don't have any outside of the box. I could do it with uh, one of the other animations that comes with the pack and just switch them around, but I'll do it with a new one just so we can see um, how that works. So I'm just going to go attack animation. We're just going to find a free one that we can get. There's a motion library. I don't really want uh, that. Can I sort by price low to high? Um, oh, here we go, we've got the fighter pack. Uh, maybe we want to do it with one that's got a sword. Let's have a look at this one. Does this one here have a nice sword? Doesn't really matter. Um, as I said, the attack uh, the attack stuff's not actually really going to matter too much. It just needs to... Um, oh, so we'll bring all that in. Uh, now, I don't want any of the code. I really just want the animations. Alright, that'll do. We'll bring them all in anyway and we'll just see what we have here. Hopefully we won't get any errors from bringing in some random pack on 2019. Yeah, we get all sorts of warnings, but I think we'll be fine. Uh, so let's come back to the scene now. You see we've got our little character here. And you can see he's got the uh, anim graph here. So let's have a look. Oh. So you come through, we can open up uh, here on the, basically when you first open it up, it should come to this, you'll have attacks, big reaction, whatnot. This is just, um, if we click on right arm, you see where we go, but if we go back to base layer, uh, oh, no, upper body was it? No, full body. There we go, full body. So we want to be on the full body um, level here of the layer, because um, this is all kitted out to... Um, uh, break up the way the bones and that work in the body um, so that you can do layered effects. And so I'm just going to go to attacks. We're just going to double click on that and open it up. See, we've got strong attacks, weak attacks. Uh, we'll just go with the weak attacks. Now you can see we've got a few here. Now, there's two ways you can do this. You can duplicate one of these um, and then add it as a different attack style. Um, what I'm going to do is I'm actually just going to replace the sword attack. And we're going to come in here. You can see that we've got now um, these are already pre filled out with these uh, different states here. But let's just say we wanted to uh, delete that one. Oh, actually, no, we're not going to want to do that because we do have these exit conditions, don't we? All right, maybe we'll leave that. All right, well, we're just going to change the uh, the first attack that we've got here. So let's have a look at uh, where we've brought in our new options. Uh, we've got the hammer, so let's bring that in. Uh, let's go. We've got our animations folder. We've got attack one. Let's just see what that looks like. So it's more of a two-handed weapon attack, but um, that'll be fine. We'll just go with that for now, because it doesn't really matter. Uh, we're just trying to get in a new animation. So you see this is a new animation. Now this one's a humanoid animation, um, I believe. If we had a look at the actual uh, rig for it. Yep, humanoid. Yeah, yeah, copy from that. Avatar. Don't worry about that, because it's just going to be the humanoid one. That's fine. Um, so now we've got our attack, and it's at speed one. Now, you need to have this vmle attack control script and this um, trigger bar sound by state. Is that really what you need to have? I think there was a, supposed to be another attack on there. Let's try unarmed and have a look. Oh, trigger sound by state. All right, well, we'll just leave it as that for now. That should work fine anyway. Um, but one of the things that we're going to notice is that uh, when we go to swing it, the damage might not line up with um, when the actual strike occurs. So if we have a look at this here, what we want to do is, oh, if I could bring that out, no, there we go, now we've got it, 
Now you can see down the bottom here we got a little uh, timestamp and a percentage and then frames. What we need to look at is the percentage. So if I start dragging this along here you can see we're bringing it back. We're now at about 25, so about 30% of the animation has already played before we're actually in a swinging motion. So what we want to do is we want to actually trigger it so that the attack doesn't start doing damage until we're in a position where we're actually really hitting something. So if we're over here, um, if there's something over here that we're striking and we have the hitbox open now, it would be doing damage to it there. We don't really want that because that doesn't really match up the way the attack works. So we need to look for a point when the, the weapon would be actually striking something. So we'll be looking about here. Um, of course, it's not really going to work because we're, the sword's going to be placed here um and it will be pointing up that way so it's not really going to be hitting anything in front of it but we'll give it a go anyway so we're really looking at about 35 percent uh probably even a little bit less maybe 34 so let's go with uh 34. so what that translates to is that we now need to go back to our animation we need to find the vmali uh attack control uh script and in this start damage we need to um, translate that percentage into uh, a a number, a numerical value. Um, what that is, is it actually goes from zero to one. So your zero is zero percent and your one is 100 percent. So obviously we can just change that quite easily by just going 0.34 because that is now 34 percent of one. Uh, and then we've done that part, that's cool, but now we need to go back to our attack, we need to look at it and we need to find where we need to turn off the damage. So you can see it's usually on the backswing, so we've come down We've gotten to 34 and we've turned on our damage. We're striking, we're following through with the strike. And as it comes down to here, we want it to stop doing damage at about 37. But you can see it does a little bit of uh, movement there. So let's say 40%. So it's actually only a very quick section there. So let's just change that to 0.4 because that would be 40%. So now that we've done that, um, that should translate. It's already set up for the melee weapon. So it's actually going to figure out what weapon is on the right lower arm there. Um, and then use that and um, we can change the damage type we can set it, um, this here to say fire all that sort of thing but that is basically how you change the attacks uh, in this system so you can just drop um, drop new animations in there and all you got to do is just match up the start and the end damage because uh, the hitbox is already placed on the weapon itself um, if you are doing it unarmed and you do have a your own sort of generic style character you may need to play around with some of the settings in it um, you'll obviously set that to unarmed um, but yeah, all you need to do, main focus here, is to just focus on getting that uh, start and end point damage correct. Um, so let's have a look at how that translates in the game now. So if we come through, we can pick up the weapon. You can see we've got an axe. If we do... So there you go. See, now we've changed the animation. Uh, now we might have to do a little bit of uh, changing up here. So what we need to do, I just want to showcase so you can see how the hitbox works. If we swing, now you can see that for just a quite a, a bit of an instant there, I'll try and make it so it's a little bit closer. Uh, now when I attack, no you can't see because I've just moved away from the camera. Keep a close eye on the axe itself and you'll see as it comes through there's that little yellow box that forms and that is the hitbox that's popping out. So we've set it to actually appear at that time. Um, so if we go Oh, now I've lost where I am. So we're going to run up now and we're actually going to see whether to make sure that it actually passes the damage through. So there you go. So you can see it is still passing the damage, but it's not doing it when it's behind us. It's only doing it when it's in front. So you see that when I stand here, the one behind me is not getting hit. But the one in front is as soon as I come down on that downward strike because I've set it to trigger off there. And you can see that there's a little bit of a hit spill there because of basically where the hitbox has ended up and so you can see yeah it's a bit sort of strange because the, the axe just sort of sits over the top of the shield kind of a cool effect but um not exactly what we're after and it doesn't really match up with the other three so yeah so that's the basic way of uh of editing uh that uh, attack it's easy just to drop it you can even um cut and copy the uh if I go to the animator here, you can go back up, you can copy one of these attacks here, see the sword attack, and when you have a look, uh, it's just bringing in the attack ID 
um, to change it to a different uh, ID. So if we can actually, you know, let's go ahead and do that. What I like to do is I like to actually just duplicate the stuff that's already in there rather than um, try and make one from scratch because that way you get to copy over a bunch of the different things. So we're going to duplicate that. I'm going to press Control D. It's going to give me Sword Attack Zero. Um, we're going to open this up and we're going to reset it back to uh, the previous one. So we go Weak Attack Sword B. So we need to open that up. I'm going to type Weak Attack Sword A. And then that should have changed it back. Yep, we attack sort A. And now we're going to have sort attack zero. Now it's not linked to anything, so we need to come to our entry. We need to make a transition to sort attack zero state. And we need to put it into, uh, yeah, state machine A, I believe. Is that where it comes into? No, entry sort attack. All right, so we need to, let's do that again. Make transition and state machine sort attack zero. And then make transition from the exit to out. So it's going to exit and go out there. And in here we need to bring in a condition. So I'm going to click the plus and I'm going to put that as attack ID. And it needs to equal, uh, say, five. I think what is our four, yeah, two, four. So I'm just going to leave that as five for now. And then we're going to obviously need a weapon that has five. So now, uh, in which case I'm going to open it up and we're only going to have one attack for this one because it is going to be a big swinging hammer. Uh, going to change that there. We're going to change this from attack one to uh, our no, I'm not because that's what we want. Good. So that's the hammer attack. Um, yep, speed one, and of course that's when we it's already got the values because I've already set them up before. It's a melee weapon, but what it's going to be looking for now is uh, the attack value of five. So that comes in when we're uh, editing our, our weapons themselves. So if we come to um, how do I want to do this? I would want to edit the weapon itself. So let's have a look at here. What prefabs do we have? We've only got the weapons are actually built in. So that's not really what we want to have, but let's do this the easy way without actually creating a new weapon. Let's go to our inventory. Um, not a mean ums editor. No, sorry, we don't need that. Let's find our little guy. Let's have a look at his inventory. Item manager, there you go. And we need to open up the item list. And we've got the short katana, we've got short sword. Uh, we need the great katana, because that one will work, because it's a two-handed weapon, so it actually works quite all right. So let's have a look here. Amount, low back, melee handler. Uh, yep, so this is the one that we need. So we need to see the spawn object here, um, V katana long. That's the one that we need to open up. And we should have a look, and it's got here, yep, the melee weapon script. That's what we need to find. Um, attack settings, so here, attack ID is number four. So we actually want to change that to five now. And that should automatically save it because that was a thing. Uh, attack one has no receiver. Are you missing a component? Yes, okay. So that's uh, that's another one um, that we need to look at doing because we will need to um, edit that to put in those motions. But let's just have a quick look now. If we hit play, we've changed that attack ID to attack five. If we run up here, we should be able to get a large katana. We might just have to equip it. Yep, great katana. There we go. That's a great katana, isn't it? So there you go. Now you see that our attack has now worked on the great katana. But let's have a look at whether it attacks properly. Let's move so we can see. There you go. So we're still playing the correct... See, I'm sort of steering away and looking in a weird direction because that's the actual animation itself. Um, now you can fix that up by tweaking the animation to um, stop it from turning on the Y and the X value and whatnot, um, and that'll just save you from that kind of error that we we're getting. Um, but let's have a look now at uh, what this is happening. So animation hit uh, on animation attack one has no receiver. Are you missing a component? Um, so the animation hit on animation attack has no receiver. Uh, so what we need to do in order to fix that is, I'm just trying to remember where you got to look for that. So if we have a look here, um, audio source here, uh, attack one, if we open that up, we actually go edit it. 
uh, so there's no event here or is there yes there is yep here so it's basically it's calling an event but of course there's nothing in there that's listening for that function to say hit um, and that's uh, what's causing the issue there what's that causing that little error so that's actually just to do with the animation itself you can always delete that or you can leave it in and use it um, for some other sort of uh, uh, system that you're you're putting together so if we come back in here and we have a look at weak sword attack a let's just hit up the edit button and then you'll see when we come down to the events there's no events actually triggered on it um, anyway so that's how you create a new attack and how you assign it uh, the correct um, settings again the big thing that you need to focus on here is the start and end damage uh, it's always a minimum of zero and a maximum of one um, and that is uh, based on the 100% value again how to find out exactly when that is you just need to come to your animation uh, you need to oops, drag it through find the point where you want the uh, damage to start which is again we set it about here have a look at the percentage number and then just move the decimal point across so you've got uh, zero and then whatever then have a look for the out value um, and then pop it in as the out value so you can see there yeah i think we put it as uh, 40 didn't we because that was after it had just come down so there you go that's how you do it uh, thank you very much for watching this quick one uh, i am going to be uh, doing a few more videos um, over this weekend uh, most likely gameplay but also a bit of uh, dev work in ue4 um, hopefully uh, yeah you get some enjoyment out of it and i'll be streaming quite a bit this weekend fingers crossed thanks for watching